Hi guys, welcome back to Lucas 3D Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best upgrades and mods for your Bamboo Lab A1 printer, so let's get right into it. The first one is this rotatable cable clip to hold the cable and the tube together so they'll look more organized. Print a few of these and just go wild. This clip is perfect if you don't want to completely restrict the movement of the cable and the tube too much and still want that flexibility to place the spool more freely. Picking off which, what if you don't want to place the spool holder on top of the printer? Then the next two prints might be the one you're looking for. This desk stand for the spool holder is a great alternative if you don't want or can't place the spool holder on top of the printer. Maybe your printer is on a shelf that has narrow space or maybe you just don't like how it looks on the top of the printer. Whatever your reason is, this might be the perfect solution for you. Another great spool holder that you can print is this print in place spool holder. And the cool thing about this spool holder is you don't even need ball bearings for it. Just fold the sides and click them in place. Place your spool on top and load the filament. If you're printing from an external spool like this, how to load the filament? I'll show you how I do it in a minute, but before that, let's thank our sponsor for today's video, PCBWay. If you have a 3D printer that can't print specific materials, or has a small print volume, or if you don't have a 3D printer at all, you can get PCBWay to print it for you. PCBWay offers 3D printing services and you can get them to print in any material like resin, nylon, TPU, PC, ASA, or even metal like titanium. Just upload your model to PCBWay, specify the quantity, choose your materials and so on, and hit submit request to get your quote. PCBWay doesn't just do 3D printing, they also offer other services like all kinds of PCB services, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and so much more. So make sure to check them out and visit PCBWay.com to learn more. To print from an external spool like this, I would recommend this part here which you can order directly from Bamboo Lab. This is actually a part for the A1 Mini, but since the X motor housing of the A1 is similar to the A1 Mini, you can attach this part here just by pushing it down until it snaps into place. This piece here costs like $3 and you can find the link in the description box below. You know how unbearable it is to watch the video live feed of the A1? Well, the camera on the A1 is a low frame rate per second camera, so if you really want to monitor your print, I recommend getting a smart security camera like the one from Blink or Tapo. I happen to already have this camera from Tapo where I used to monitor my reef tank while I was in vacations. So let's put that to a good use. Install the Tapo camera and just snap the frame onto the LCD screen of the A1. Set up the app on your smartphone and then you can monitor your print from almost anywhere. If you have the AMS light, you might want to consider printing a vertical stand. I'm placing my AMS light on windowsill to have more space, but you can also build a shelf and place it on top of it. You also want to get the AMS light cable extender which you can order from AliExpress for like 3 to 4 dollars. Depending on the height of your shelf, you might want to get longer tubes so it wouldn't pull your AMS light when the print head is all the way down. Trust me, I learned it the hard way when I broke the AMS hub of my A1 Mini when I tried to set this up. Get the 4 meter tube so you can easily cut them to preferable lengths. You also want to print these tube guides which are some of the parts of the official top mount so the tubes won't sag and potentially break the connectors.
for a peace of mind, I also climbed the feet to the windowsill. You may want to print cable clips to keep everything tidy. You can print these original Bamboo Lab clips to hold the tubes together. Aside from Bamboo Lab filaments, I also print with Sanlu filaments so this adapter fits the newest spool perfectly so you can mount it on the EMS light without having the fear of it falling off. The build plate cleaner is a great add-on to your maintenance routine. In fact, I already featured it in my A1 Mini maintenance video. It's a great quick way to clean up your plate before each print. Make sure to clean or replace the microfiber cloth regularly. If you've seen my A1 Mini upgrade video, I've shown this toolbox where you can use it to store your accessories. Of course, you can use this toolbox for your A1 accessories as well. The last upgrade is this dust cover for the x-axis. It's a great and simple solution to keep your rails away from dust. Just don't forget to remove it when you turn on the printer. So those are some upgrades and mods for your Bamboo Lab A1. Tell me in the comments below if you've already printed or owned some of these upgrades or if you're planning to print them. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button and drop a comment in my video. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.